Hey you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance copywriter and copywriting mentor, and I want to talk to you about what is copywriting. Because if you are new to copywriting, you might not realize that there is copywriting everywhere. That's one of my favorite things that students who come into my course start to realize when they start studying copy is that there is so much copywriting everywhere. You are coming across it every single day, whether or not you realize it. Now, copywriting is traditionally sales writing or direct response copy, which is getting people to act now. But in today's world where people expect a lot more from their brands, you know, copywriting can take many different forms. Ultimately, it's copywriting if it's trying to persuade someone to take an action. So with that in mind, let's talk about some of the different types of copy you probably most commonly come across because it's not just ads. So the first one I want to talk about are websites. A lot of websites are copy written, and that's because websites can also act sort of as a landing page where they get people to take an action, maybe set up a consultation, maybe purchase something, maybe interact or contact the person whose website it is so you can take that next step. So websites are often written by copywriters. And again, people are often su surprised to discover this, but it is true in the world that we know it today. Another one are product descriptions. I mean, it makes sense, right? Product descriptions are types of copy that are the last place and the last thing that people often read before they click purchase. So product descriptions are a great place to study copy. And something that you'll notice actually is a lot of people kind of skip on product descriptions. They don't take the time to even write them. This always blows my mind because a good product description has a lot of power and can really help that person take that next step to purchasing a product or a service. So product descriptions are another type of copy. The next one that you may have not considered are emails. Emails are often written by copywriters. So you know those emails you sign up for maybe to get 10% off or sign up for free shipping or maybe just because you wanna hear more about what a company or a brand has to say. Emails are often written by copywriters, and that's because they are one of the most effective tools. In fact, they're my favorite marketing tool for engaging with potential customers. I love emails because they can be more personal, they can be more casual, and they can be a lot more fun. You don't really need to cite things in emails like you would in a heavily scientific blog. As somebody who writes for doctors, that can sometimes be a relief. You still need to obviously be showing up and having really thoughtful copy in your emails. And you can't say things or you shouldn't say things that, you know, aren't true. So just because there aren't citations like maybe blogs or other things like that, it's still important that you're being really value forward in your emails. I also love emails because they're a really great place to connect with people where they're maybe not feeling like they're going to be hit with an ad, right? Like scrolling through their feed, for example. In emails, you're in somebody's virtual living room. So generally, they're more open to hearing from you. So they are another type of copy that I really, really love. Another type of copy are landing pages. Again, if you're not very familiar with copywriting or just marketing in general, you might come onto a landing page and think it's actually a web page or a website, and they can be used kind of interchangeably. Landing pages are written with direct response copy, though, which means they are written specifically to get somebody to take action as they are reading it or at the end of reading it. So they are much more urgent. You know, urgency is awfully often incorporated in it. They're talking usually to one individual person so that hopefully if it's for you, you think, wow, this person totally knows where I'm coming from and this is the right thing for me. Landing pages are one of my favorite types of copy because one, I love numbers. I love having the stats to back up my copy to see how effective it is. It's also a great opportunity to, you know, make adjustments and changes to see if you can bring those conversion numbers up. But landing page copy is really fun for anyone who likes to dig deep into the research part of copywriting. Because when you write landing page copy, because the ultimate goal is conversions or the number of sales usually, unless it's an opt-in page, which, you know, is to sign up for emails, not trying to confuse you here. They can sometimes be used interchangeably though. So I definitely want to bring your attention to them. But Landing pages are definitely one of the types of copy that is really trying to get people to take whatever that action is right then and there. And so they can be a lot of fun 
and a lot more engaging as you start to incorporate some of the persuasive techniques you've learned as you are uh, studying copywriting. So landing pages are another one that people often come across and don't realize that it's copy. Maybe they think it's a website, who knows, but it's one of those ones that's definitely worth calling out. And if you are a copywriter, it's definitely a form of copy that you want to incorporate into your offerings because it's high value for your clients because you're getting them sales. So I love I love landing pages. Another one are blogs. Now, this is a kind of a heavily debated topic. You know, people love to argue, are they content? Are they copy? And quite honestly, at the end of the day, I think people are just overcomplicating it. They can be both. There is some overlap and they can be copy or they can be content. Like, I just think people love to make themselves crazy with this debate. Really, try not to take take yourself too seriously and just leave space for the fact that it is possible for things to kind of walk that gray area. I will say that it is copy or can be considered copy when there is something in the blog itself that's encouraging people to take action. Blogs that are purely informative are content. So if you come across a blog that's trying to get you at the end to sign up for a newsletter, um, you know, that's considered could be considered an opt in. Or if you have something that is a blog that incorporates products or services, you know, that that website that it's hosted on, it's incorporated in it with links. A lot of people use blogs for affiliates to get you to sign up for something that they are an affiliate for so they can earn a commission. If that is happening, it's definitely a form of copy because you are getting people to take action and earning money off of that action. So blogs can also be another type of copy. And finally, video sales letter or video scripts. Because we are moving into more of a video-based world, we love our videos and now captions are becoming increasingly popular, which is wonderful, especially for our hearing impaired community. It is something that all copywriters should definitely have at the forefront of their mind. Um, video scripts are a lot of fun. They are extra, extra conversational because obviously you wouldn't want to have a script that you are reading from and have it sound overly formal. It's got to sound super natural. Sometimes video scripts end up just being talking points and creating kind of a flow, but they definitely incorporate all the same things that other types of copy include, which is persuasion techniques and things like that. So Video sales letters or video scripts, those are another type of copy. And I think not a lot of people realize that sometimes people are using these scripts when they're actually watching videos, especially those video ads, which of course brings us to our last form of a copy, which you probably already knew was copy, and that's ads. So all the stuff you see on billboards, brochures, Facebook, Instagram ads, Google ads, you know, commercials, things like that. That is copywriting, and that is typically what people think of when they think of copywriting, but it also includes so much more than that in today's world. So I hope you like that. I hope that cleared some things up for you. I get this question a lot. And again, as you start to study copy, I'm sure you will discover just like so many have that it's absolutely everywhere. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up button if you like this. Please leave a comment for me. I love getting ideas from your comments. You guys are a wonderful group of people. And I appreciate hearing from you. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.